Oh my god, yes! I am so excited about this. I am not enjoying it. <laughs> I made a notebook design, dark academia style. We have some surprise book mail again. My mom just started vacuuming. What a great time to start this intro. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another reading vlog. In this reading vlog, I will be designing lots of new things for my Etsy shop. An update is coming very soon and I'm so excited to share that all with you guys. I made some lovely food. I even received a gift, a random bookish gift from someone. And of course I read some books. But before we get into this reading vlog, do we see something that's missing? on my face. You may have been able to tell that jewelry is missing from my face and oh my god, do we have a sponsor for today's video? We do! And it is Anna Luisa Jewelry. <laughs> oh my god, such a smooth transition, Sabine. If you haven't heard of this brand yet, Anna Luisa makes handcrafted jewelry and they make their jewelry from 100% recycled gold and silver. Their collections feature iconic designs without negatively impacting the environment, which is one of my favorite things about Anna Luisa. So first off, I have these. I don't know if you can see. These are my favorite. These are the mini huggy hoops and they were 60 euros and with my discount code booknook10 you can get 10% off so I put these mini huggy hoops in my second hoop my second how'd you call that I wanted to say ear hole but that sounds really strange because it fits perfectly look how nice that looks Anna Luisa's jewelry prices range from $39 until like higher end pieces so there is definitely something for everyone on their website next I have my favorite pieces that I got from them and these are the Cora earrings and what I love about these is that they look like safety pins but they have like this really cute heart key situation it's not focused on me high and I think it just looks so stylish these earrings cost 76 euros when I looked on their website but that is 68 euros with my code and I'm so excited that they wanted to collaborate with me on this video because I have definitely been learning a lot about sustainable jewelry and fashion lately and I'm getting more into it and learning a lot about it so knowing that Anna Luisa's jewelry is environment friendly that makes me feel really great plus the pieces are also super stylish and the last item that they sent me is this willow necklace it is a stacked necklace which I hadn't received before but it feels as if you're getting two necklaces for the price of one, which is great. Again, this one was 76 euros. Let me wear it for you guys. I mean, look how cute that looks. So if you have been meaning to get some beautiful and sustainable jewelry for yourself, definitely go check out Ana Luisa and their website. I will have a link in the description box down below. Like I said, you can use my code BOOKNOOK10 to get 10% off of everything that they have on their website. I'm obsessed. I am literally wearing all of their jewelry pieces 24-7. Now let's go on with the reading vlog. Hi guys. Oh my god. I am so excited because I just got the February fairy loot box in the mail. This fairy loot box is a little different than the other ones because I feel like there is more of like a sci-fi theme in this one and fairy loot is usually always like focused on fantasy. I don't read sci-fi that often but I do want to get more into it so I'm excited to find out the items and the book that are in this box. So let's open it together. Here we go. I'm just gonna dive right into the items. Ooh, oh my god, this is really pretty. Maybe this is like a pencil case, but I feel like there's something inside of here. It does have a beautiful design. Ooh, maybe it's like metal utensils, I, I feel. Let's see, I'm pretty sure it is. <laughs> yes, I was correct. Ooh, this is really pretty. I think it's all gonna be like golden metal cutlery and then it has like quotes on it as well so this one said everything's science fiction until someone makes it science fact then the fork says think badass thoughts i agree i agree <laughs> and then last but not least we have the spoon and this one says every locked door has a key i think these utensils like this cutlery set would be perfect if you like either go camping or you go on a little picnic and you don't want to use like plastic stuff like this so nice and reusable and then you have your own portable little case to take them with you to protect them so that is awesome oh my god yes i am so excited about this i remember like from having my own fairly subscription because i do get sent these 
boxes by Fairy Loot because I am a rep. They send me these boxes for free. I unbox them for you guys, but I do have like my honest opinion that I'm going to share with you. They finally incorporated a scented candle again. They used to do that all the time in their boxes like two, three years ago, and I love scented candles. And this one is called Eco, so I think that this is a side character from like the Cinder, the Lunar Chronicle series by Marissa Mayer, and it is supposed to smell like cranberry, peach, citrus, and vanilla. I love citrus and vanilla scents, so... Oh yes, yes, this is my type of scent. Just fresh, fruity, vanilla-y, I love that so much, so I will definitely be lighting this one soon. Next up, what is this? Little Moon Fairy Lights! Oh my god, I love that! I'm obsessed with fairy lights. These are battery powered, powered by batteries. <laughs> That is so cute. <laughs> I need to find like a good place to hang these, but I love fairy lights so much. And they're in the shape of a moon. How perfect. Okay, so it is a little bit like stuck everywhere, but can you see those little moons? I can only imagine this being even more cute once it's like hanging somewhere, but I don't know where to hang it yet. What else do we have here? This is, I think, maybe a pillowcase. Okay, I'm getting all of that like string everywhere. Ooh, oh my God, it has like a double design. <gasps> That is so cool. Okay, so this is from Red Rising by Pierce Brown. Am I correct? Yes, because it says this quote on it. I don't know how to pronounce this. I am definitely interested still in picking up the Red Rising trilogy. It has been out for a couple of years right now. I don't think like the art style of this pillowcase fits in my room like that well. I do think it looks really cool, but I don't know if I will like display it. And I think, oh yes, we still have like two little things to show. So this little bag right here and it has a pin again. This one says plenty of humans were monstrous and plenty of monsters knew how to play at being human. Oh yeah, it's a Vicious enamel pin and I still have yet to read Vicious by V.E. Schwab. I'm very excited to get to that book though and I think this pin is really nice. And I think the only thing left are these beautiful tarot cards. <gasps> wow, I don't know which series this is from. Let me check right now because I have already like seen all the items. I don't know the book yet. Okay, so these cards are inspired by Spin the Dawn and I've been really intrigued by that duology as well. It's like a fantasy duology but it involves like the making of clothes if I'm correct. And now the only thing that's left is the book. I have literally no clue which book it might be which is surprising because I usually always like look it up or I either just like have a feeling but with this one no idea, so let's just open it. It does have really beautiful spray pages again, and it is... Ooh, okay, I never heard of this book. Okay, my camera stopped recording, but it is This Golden Flame by Emily Victoria. It says on the back, change your faith, pay the price. It has red spray pages. It is signed by the author right here. And let's see. Ooh, we do have some. <gasps> Ooh, oh my God. <laughs> that is so pretty. But look at this like, do you call that embroidery or like embossment? I think is what you call it. And then on the inside of the dust jacket, that artwork. I never know how people do this. How do you make this? That looks so cool. Don't know if this book is any good, but I'm gonna look it up on Goodreads in a little bit. And I rarely read sci-fi, so I definitely should pick it up more often. So hopefully I will really enjoy this one. Um, let's have a look at what is inside of this little pouch. As per usual, we have some more like artwork and then a letter from the author on the back. And we have a little like fairy scribble, fairy scoop, which is like their little magazine in which they do an interview with the author and they tell you what is so exclusive about this book as well. And next Next month's theme for March is Frozen Fables, and I am happy to say that I am still a rep for Fairy Loot, so I'm really excited to unbox that one as well. Thank you so much again to Fairy Loot for sending this box to me. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> Today it is March. Eighth. For this week, I'm planning on creating lots of new Etsy products because I just haven't had the time to fully focus on that and put all of my creativity and time into those types of projects. I want to create new bookmarks for my Etsy store. I'm looking into making little A5 notebooks because I think that would be a great addition to my little store. I was thinking about making washi tape, definitely some foiled bookmarks as well, and maybe I want bookmarks with tassels. I just think 
think that's really cute and I think you guys will like to see that as well in my Etsy shop. Of course, I'm also reading some books. So let me grab them and show them to you. I do need to <laughs> have a look where they are because books are everywhere. Okay, so the two books that I'm like currently reading right now are Star Daughter by Shveta Takrar. This book is a YA urban fantasy. So our main character is taken from the contemporary world into a fantasy one. And this book is really heavily inspired by Hindu mythology. And I am like a little over halfway through. I think I'm even further than this because I'm mostly listening to the audiobook right now because I am not enjoying it. <laughs> and um, I initially also didn't want to read this book. I played like my March TBR game and I was already scared to pick this one up because it didn't have that amazing reviews on Goodreads. Although I was super excited about it because like I said, Hindu mythology, celestial magic, it just sounds beautiful. And I do think that Shweta Sakrar um, can write very beautifully sometimes, but until so far, the characters are really one dimensional. I do not have a connection with any of them whatsoever. This book also definitely reads a little more on like the younger side of YA. It focuses a lot on like this magical competition, but I've heard from other people's reviews that it's more like, how'd you call that? Like America's Got Talent or, you know, like a talent show, something like that. And um, that the buildup to the event is way bigger than the event itself. So I'm just kind of like powering through the audiobook whilst I'm designing Etsy stuff. I just want to finish it. I feel like once I finish this book, I will have just like completely forgotten its contents and I don't think that's a good sign. So I also decided to simultaneously read another book and that one is Hollow Pox, The Hunt for Morgan Crow by Jessica Townsend. This is the third book in the Nevermore series, but I'm currently co-hosting a read-along called The Wonder Along together with Olivia from Olivia's Catastrophe. I love this world so much. I really like Jessica Townsend's writing style and I adore the characters. This book is quite thick though. It's like 460 pages, so this will not be a book that I read in like two days. I just feel like its contents are really wholesome, but there are definitely also some more serious and dark themes in it. So I am just loving it. And I think that at the beginning of April, we will be having a live show and cannot wait to get more into it. I literally only read 10 pages, 12. So not really far into it. So yeah, I hope that you will enjoy watching me live my life for this week. little later and someone sent me a book off of my wish list which is insanely sweet and I just got the box so let me unbox it for you guys and show you which book it is okay so here we go I'm honestly so excited for this book and it is oh my god the beauty bridge of souls by Victoria Schwab for some reason I thought this cover would be metallic but it is not this is the third and final book I believe in the what do you call this series? <laughs> I believe it is called the Cassidy Blake series. And this is Victoria Schwab's middle grade ghost stories. And in this one, we follow our main character, Cassidy Blake. And she is going to New Orleans or New Orleans. I never know which pronunciation is like the correct one. And I've heard great things about this. I really enjoyed the first two books in the series. And I have a set to TBR for March, so I'm not gonna read it this month, but we'll definitely put it on my April TBR because I'm honestly so excited to find out what will happen. And thank you so much, Yuan Li, for getting me this book. It means a lot to me and you didn't have to. Good morning, you guys. I didn't vlog yesterday, but this morning I'm gonna make the ultimate breakfast. <laughs> I'm gonna make apple pear blueberry crumble <laughs> for breakfast. I know this is usually a dessert, but I'm gonna treat myself, okay? Like I deserved it.
afternoon you guys today it is March 12th and it's been a little while since I've given you an update but I still haven't finished a book yet but I will be finishing Star Daughter today I'm not really enjoying it it's not um, what I hoped it was gonna be I just thought that like the whole star magic celestial magic would be so much more whimsical than it actually is because the story focuses a lot on like family drama and a girl trying to take care of her father and getting like a remedy for him being in a coma and it focuses a lot on that which makes it lose a little bit of that magical fantastical world. So I've heard that the ending is really quite abrupt. I think I only have about an hour left of the audiobook. So when I'm gonna work on my Etsy stuff and designing everything like that I will definitely finish reading it and I haven't really continued on with Hollow Pox. I'm still on like page 110 but I'm having concentration problems. <laughs> also as you can tell I just curled my hair so that's why it's still kind of like poofy but I finished um, designing a new bookmark and I'm so excited for it. It has all these little book covers on it and I ordered some tassels and I'm currently designing. I think I want this to be like a jumbo bookmark like a really big one like more bigger in the width if that makes sense and I think the design looks really cool and I'm putting a lot of detail into this one I will turn the camera around because that's easier to show you so I'm drawing a bookshelf this is like all the detail on the top of it and I'm drawing all these little books with beautiful spines and I'm just like really enjoying this one I think it looks so cool so I'm still gonna like add a couple of details here maybe a little plant maybe some more books so we shall see about that and I Think it's gonna look great. That is kind of what I have been working on these past couple of days. I also have to make a video for a company. So yeah, I'll be working on that today. A few moments later. We have some surprise book mail again. You guys, thank you so much to whoever sent me this. We will find out together. The thing is that Lexi from Alexandra Rosslyn, she said that she bought me a book, which is way too kind, but I feel like she ordered it like today and if it would have arrived right now, that would be super quick. So we shall find out together who got me a book, which book it is, etc. Here we go. <laughs> this is always so exciting. <laughs> the thrill of receiving like a surprise package is insane <laughs> oh my god it's even gift wrapped <gasps> what is this oh my god okay there's a little note with it as well oh, yes okay so it is from lexi oh my god that arrived so quickly happy super early birthday sabine i wanted to send you it before someone else did this was my favorite book from last year so i hope you like it happy reading pal love lexi lexi thank you so much how to open this <laughs> the struggle is real she got me a freaking hardcover. Oh my god. She got me. Oh my god. Oh, okay. This is so exciting. I can't even speak. This is so exciting. Lexi got me The House in the Cerulean Sea by TJ Klune. Look at that cover. It is stunning. I've heard that this is like an adult fiction, but it reads a little bit like a middle grade novel, a middle grade type of story. It says right here, a magical island, a dangerous task, a burning secret. Linus Baker is a by the book caseworker in the department in charge of magical youth. At 40, he lives in a tiny house with a devious cat and his old records for company, but his quiet life is about to change. Linus is summoned by extremely upper management and given a curious and highly classified assignment. Travel to an orphanage on a distant island and determine whether six dangerous magical children are so dangerous, in fact, that they are likely to bring about the end of days. When Linus arrives at the strangest of islands, he's greeted by a series of mysterious figures, the most mysterious of which is Arthur Parnassus, the master of the orphanage. As Linus and Arthur grow closer, Linus discovers the master would do anything to keep the children safe, even if it means the world has to burn. Or worse, his secret comes to life. The House in the Cerulean Sea is an enchanting love story masterfully told about the profound experience of discovering an unlikely family in an unexpected place and realizing that family is yours. So many booktubers have been hyping up this book and that it has a gorgeous aspect of like found family, friendships, relationships, and I've heard just so many amazing things about it and that Lexi sent this to me. It's just so sweet. Thank you so much, Lexi. I will always remember this as the book that you gifted to me. I am sorry for the glare in my glasses, so let's take it off. I just finished 
You can guess it. <laughs> Star Daughter by Shweta Takrar. I constantly said Shweta, it's Shweta. And this was a disappointment. The thing is like, I already knew that on Goodreads this had not such an amazing rating. I believe like a 3.3 out of five stars, which is not always a good sign for me and um, I should have listened. <laughs> the premise was better than the execution. To be honest, I thought the first 100 pages when Sheetal was still in the human world were better than when she entered the Haven's heavens and met her celestial family. The character's plot and just world building from that point on fell so flat for me. So I would not recommend this book to be honest because it could have been like 100 to 150 pages shorter, like from the moment she entered the star world the competition element was so drawn out like there was so much build-up and the competition itself was boring it ended super abruptly and what I was I think the most disappointed by was that Cheetal knew at the end of the book that she had been used as a pawn by her celestial family time and time again and she still forgave them and I was just like girl stand up for yourself and I gave it two out of five stars maybe I should give it less but it's not as if like I do see that there could be good elements in the story and that Shweta Takra will grow, hopefully, with her following novels. But, like, I don't hate this book. It's just not good. I am glad to be able to continue on with something else, but tomorrow I have work again. I'm doing an impromptu live show with Lexi from Alexandra Roslin, who also gifted me the book. She's just so kind. We've been talking for over a week, and I am excited to kind of get to know her better and read and share that moment with you guys. I'm gonna read some more in a good book right now hollow pox and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. It is Saturday right now. I just came back from work and this Saturday, March 13th, it is actually also the uh, Basically Brit, Basically Readathon that uh, Brit from Basically Brit is hosting. And I know she's gonna go live in probably like 15 minutes, but I thought I should also pick up another book because I do feel like Star Daughter has kind of brought me into like, not per se a reading slump, but I'm like going towards it and I don't want it to. So I'm also, besides reading Holopop, I'm gonna start, if I am being honest, by Emily Wibberly and Austin Siegmund Broca. Broca. And I thought that this one would be only fitting since I got this from Brit exactly about like a year ago when we did a mystery booktuber book haul thing and I still haven't picked it up. I'm making a separate reading vlog for the books that Brit got me back then and I've been working on that since September. Oops. <laughs> Luckily when I made my March TBR again a lot of people told me that they really quite liked it so I am very curious and what it says on the back right here is turns out being gorgeous and popular doesn't get you you off the hook for being a total bitch. <laughs> Guess Cameron didn't get the memo. So when her crush Andrew balks at her nasty ways, she'll do anything to get back in his favor. Anything takes the form of a self-taming project a la Shakespeare's famous shrew, shrew Catherine. If Cameron can prove Andrew she's changed for the better, he'll have to give her another chance. But facing her flaws head on is no easy task, especially when making amends with a certain guy leads to complicated feelings. And I am like so in the mood for a contemporary right now. I'm excited to pick it up and I will like let you know my general thoughts. I'm so bad at giving you all these updates, but on Saturday, the live show with Lexi was amazing. Oh my God, it was so much fun and you guys loved it as well. If you haven't checked it out yet, you can. It is uploaded on my channel. You can watch it back for lots of chatting about like movies and just life in general. Lexi and I are gonna become best friends. <laughs> She's just so wonderful. So if you haven't checked out her channel yet and her content, which I doubt, but if you haven't, I will leave her channel in the description box down below. Today, I will be designing a dark academia notebook. So I'm taking some of the little designs I used inside of that big bookmark um, and maybe create a notebook design with it. I think it's gonna be so cool. So that's what I'm gonna be working on today. I'm also gonna FaceTime with Brit and let me give you a little bit of a read update now that we're talking about Brit since she got me this book. General thoughts because a detailed like reading vlog for this one will be up 
hopefully next month. I'm currently on page 107, so about one third of the way through, and our main character is very much aware that she is mean, but she keeps on repeating her actions, and it's just kind of annoying, but like I've said before, I still have good hopes for it, and I do like the writing style. I feel like I can just fly through this really quickly, so perhaps I'm hoping to reach page 200 today. That would be amazing, but it is a quarter past one, and I haven't read a single page. I've just been drawing a lot, but that's all fine. I've got all the time in the world. <laughs> I do feel like a little bit bad that I've only finished one book until so far in March, but it's all gonna be fine. It's all gonna be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma Brit present. <laughs> As you guys can see, I just FaceTimed with Brit, so that was really nice, but oh my god, today I've only been working on designing new stuff and I created a notebook design. Let me give you another sneak peek. Like this whole vlog is full of sneak peeks regarding new Etsy items that are coming to you very soon. I'm planning on doing a shop update at the very beginning of April to like my birthday because on April 1st my shop actually exists for a year but I don't know if I will be ready to update the shop then because I do have some other things in mind that I want to design. It is so shiny but I made a notebook design dark academia style and I think it's gonna look amazing. Hi guys it is March 16th today and I'm gonna close off the reading vlog. I'm gonna finally edit it but before we are doing that I will tell you where I'm at with my reading and everything. Yesterday evening I read some more in If I Am Being Honest and I'm currently on page 164 so I am halfway through almost and I'm definitely enjoying it a little bit more. I see some change in our main character. She's definitely learning from the situations that are happening around her and she's trying to make amends with all of these people she has said or done some really bad stuff to and I feel like she's starting to realize that what she did was actually pretty shitty. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to continuing on with it. I feel like it's going in the right direction and that it's gonna be a solid YA contemporary for me. Like I'm not loving it extremely but I'm definitely enjoying it until so far I'd say three and a half out of five stars but like I said I have half of the book to still read so lots of opinions might still change. And then I thought I was gonna make a lot of progress in Hollow Pox, the third book in the Nevermore series, but I haven't actually. I'm still on page 120, but I just feel like I need to take a little break from this middle grade fantasy series, and if I'm being honest, we'll be perfect with that. I am still enjoying this book, it's just that I'm putting it on the down low, and I will probably continue on with it this week. But I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or in the button down below and hopefully I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!